Johnson. Give it up. Woo! For future reference, John, what happened was you got fucked. <laughs> Normally, we're the ones doing the fucking, but in that situation, you got fucked. <laughs> Congrats. How's everybody doing tonight? Be good? Today is National Siblings Day. Did you guys know that? Did you guys out, you give it up for your siblings? That's the dumbest shit ever. <laughs> the hell you want to celebrate your parents fucking for? That's what you're doing. You are celebrating the successful fucks of your parents. <laughs> Way to go, mom and dad. You really let that one ride deep inside. Man. So fucking happy. And I got ten, I got nine brothers and sisters. Every day is fucking siblings day. Man. It's ten. Shit, what the fuck am I supposed to get my dad? Like, a porno? Like, shit, I think he made them or something. What the fuck? Like, I used to, like, look up and just be like, that another one now, Dad? It's seven of us already. Fuck, we got a start five and two reserves. We got the Jackson Five and LaToya. What the hell? I'm so for real. Like, I'm not celebrating National Siblings Day. I'm not. I'm not celebrating no made up fucking days, except the cool ones. And I just had a kid, so you damn right be celebrating Father's Day. It's made up like a motherfucker, but I want a car. And really all that shit signifies is that you know how to have unprotected sex. Like, you really, people always like, oh my god, I never came a parent, I never came a you didn't. When you became a parent, that just meant you had that one fucked up feeling inside. Like, oh shit, are you for real? Because that's every man's thought. <laughs> Seriously, every man who has ever came inside of a woman has had that split second where it settles in that you just did that. <laughs> you know that feeling. Like, you fuck like Sean was talking about. You bunny fucking, you ass. I'm black, so I'm bunny fuck. It's a little bit longer. It's a, it's a luxurious you know? So once I, yeah, oh. You see that? That's what happens. It goes down after you do it. And then after that shit, in that split moment, that split second of ecstasy, you get that fucked up feeling like, I didn't even ask her if she was I was doing that then. <laughs> Hold on, let me get out of there. <laughs> Look, she's making a face like, oh my god, this is disgusting. It would have saved me 18 years. <laughs> but I didn't. I let it ride. I'm happy though, because my son's adorable. He is. Like, my son is a fucking German baby. <laughs> about that shit, like for real. Cause when he was born, I was like, oh shit. I don't know what's gonna happen. <laughs> Cause it was like the movie Knocked Up if it starred Anthony Anderson and Melissa McCarthy from Bridesmaids. Like that's how he came about. But when he came out, I was like, God damn, it's true what they say. Ugly dads make pretty babies. <laughs> I'm not going to insult her because that's just mean and I don't want to be put on child support. <laughs> that's her, look, he's on child support. He does not <laughs> They take 29% of everything I make. <laughs> it's all right. It's going to happen to me one day. I'm black. Wait, wait. It's, it's just the fucking truth, man. It is. It's a struggle being African American. I'm not going to lie to you. It's so hard being black. I brought my cousin with me. For real. He's intimidating black. What's up, Jay? I'm like, tell jokes funny black. He's like, go to the gym, listen to angry rap music black. <laughs> like, for real, like, I'm the black dude that you would talk to about the season endings of How I Met Your Mother. He's the one that you would worry about beating up your mother. <laughs> So that's why he's with me, because I might say some inflammatory shit to white people. And there's a lot of y'all in here. There really is. Y'all are kind of deep right now, except for I don't even know who she is. She's just fine as fuck. What is your name, Miss Temple and Boots? I just want like a 1990s rap video machine. Like the whole time I've been looking at it, 
that are like, I need a revenger. That's a part of me. The dude with her is not happy about these jokes right now. Andy look like he Jackie Chan little cousin. <laughs> security guard with me to the show I'm not getting paid for. I knew I was going to say They just turned the light on. I guess that means I got like a minute or so left. Here we go. I wish I had, I'm going to. I wish I had that type of light when I was getting bad head. You just cut the light on like, you see that right? That's all I'm saying. Because you can't like halfway eat pussy. As a dude, you can't. Like, so ladies, don't halfway suck dick, alright? <laughs> Go all out with that shit. As a man, you don't get to decide if you swallow or not. You licking down there, it's gonna get in your mouth. Alright? Let a dude tell a chick that shit, like, I don't swallow. <laughs> so, when you grab my neck, scream when you're almost there, I'm gonna stop. <laughs> Think about that shit. The next time you suck in his dick and you feel his ball squeeze up, get ready. I'm saying, get ready. It's a lot of white women in the crowd. Y'all don't need this advice. I'm telling these jokes for the two Asian women. And I don't even know if she's Asian. No she got a fire dress. I feel like a member of Yu-Gi-Oh right now. Dragon Ball Z in this motherfucker. Gonna be a black balls. Easy. That was a dirty, dirty joke. I'm sorry, but I mean that shit like For real. We can make a porno tonight. Biggie returns. They gonna do ain't gonna have nothing planned but notorious B.I.G. tracks. Juicy, big papa. All that shit. I'm saying, dude, we're making good eye contact right now. I like this. Don't let Jackie Chan fuck me up when I get done. Cause he's like doing that fake laugh right now. Like, ha 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 ha. You are very funny, Black Man. But when we go outside, we will fight for Hana. Telling you right now, I ain't fighting for shit. That's why I brought my cousin with me. Find me. Thank you. <laughs> hey, that's Chris Hightower, everybody.